Lewis, when shall we do it? Do what? Kill him. You're right. It's the only way. It's not even a crime. I mean, he's dead already. We have to get to him before Peter McCrane does. It has to be tonight. Oh, Lewis. Hold me. After this, we can be together forever. There didn't seem to be a problem. I was the one they thought was wild, and I wasn't going to kill myself, so I thought I was safe. So, I agreed to meet her later that afternoon outside the apartment. But I didn't realise quite how much interest there was in the residence of the late Mr. John Wilde. <laughs> She's leaving now, Mr. McRae. I'm on my way. Keep following her. I'll give her the number of the estate agent. Hello. I'd like to make an appointment to view one of your properties. He knew some very unpleasant people. Right, listen. I've been thinking. This is something I should do alone. It's my problem, Lewis. I can't ask you to... If anything goes wrong, you're the one they're going to suspect, not me. You have to be able to prove that you were somewhere else. Okay? Right. I'm going up to the apartment now to wait for him. When it's done, I'll give you a call. I've arranged for someone to dispose of the body. And then we'll have to leave the country for a couple of weeks. Okay? You've thought of everything. <laughs> Believe me, Jeffrey, the Russians can build a proper car. So we know their space program didn't happen. <laughs> Hey. So, we'll go upstairs for an hour or so. Come back down. Tell her it's done. Pick up the two million pounds. Won't even be lying. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Mr. McCrane, it's Miles. We're outside Wilde's building. This is a terrible line. I can't hear you! We just seen Wild go inside. Get us out of here. Hello? Call me back! Hello, Mr. McCrane. We're outside the building. Wild's just gone inside. Hello, Mr. McCrane. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. McCrane. I think it's gonna outrange. Right, so. I'm alive and John Wilde goes back to being dead. Good. Louis, dear boy, I've been looking for you everywhere. <clears throat> I had a phone call about the flat. Anyway, thank God I found you. I thought I'd have to share the place myself. <laughs> uh, Louis, uh, Louis works with me. Knows everything there is to know about the place. How do you? My name's Peter McCrane. For a big performance. Absolutely convinced I was going to go out there and die. Stage fright. You pull through. 
break a leg. <clears throat> well, as you can see, this is the main part of this highly desirable residence, which, uh, um, as you can see, it's uh, uh, big. Um, I just have to pop upstairs for a moment to uh, sort a few things out, so I'll uh, I'll let you get your own feel of of the bigness uh, for a while. I was just checking that uh, everything works okay, which uh, which it seems to be doing. Uh, well, as you see, this is the master bedroom. Well, it looks like someone's still living here. No, no, that was me. Uh, <laughs> not living here, of course. I, uh, I just had a quick nap uh, the other day, and I found that the room was extremely conducive to sleep. It's uh, very good, very good. Um, in fact, uh, the perfect place to end a hard day killing people. <laughs> I mean, after a, a killing day at the office. Yeah. Now stop shouting, for Christ's sake. Let's... Why don't we let... Just... Shall we? Hmm. What do you mean, already, in the building? What girl? John. I'll call you back. Are you looking for John Wilde? I found him. <laughs> so have I. OK, listen, listen, you've got this wrong. Right? I'm not the person you think I am. I'm an estate agent. Leon, tell him that I'm not John Wilde. He's not John Wilde. Then again. If you're an estate agent, what are you doing with a gun? I'm protecting myself. Th there have been a lot of complaints. And... Now, listen, this is ridiculous. The truth is, I pretended to be John Wilde for one night. Why? I didn't think it would do any harm, you know. I mean, he's dead. It... I just wanted to get into bed with Jules. I lied. I'm a liar. You bastard. Just keep out of this. OK, listen. I can prove that I'm not John Wilde. Give me your phone. Who do you want to call? Someone who can identify him. Who? His wife. Ex-wife. Wife! You bastard. me. I think you should get up here straight away. If you admit that you're a liar, why should we believe you when you say you were lying? You knew Wilde. Surely you can tell I'm not him. I'll admit there's no resemblance whatsoever. What? I know. Yeah, get up here right away. Now, where were we? Oh, thank God. Tell him who I am. You bastard. You come back to life just to go out with this slut. Who are you calling a slut? What are you doing? Wait a second. Are you saying this is your husband? Of course it is. No amount of plastic surgery is going to fool me. And now I'm going to kill him all over again. Kill him and I'll kill you. Whose side are you on? Yours, son. Eat your lives and get my money. At her! Jeff! What are you doing? I'm with her. She offered me a better deal. And besides, I just worked out that if we all shoot at the same time, I'm the only one who survives. Now we're back to square one. If anyone shoots, we all die. I thought there was something special between us. There is! What does it matter what, what I'm called or what I do? My name is Lewis Fox and I am an estate agent. I'll give you a lift. 
Okay. Okay. Think about this. If I go into all the trouble of faking my own death and having extensive plastic surgery so that no one will recognize me, what am I doing using my real name? Your wife was picking up the insurance money. You're here to keep an eye on her. That doesn't explain why I was in the club. Like you said, you wanted to impress your new girlfriend. Yeah, but to believe that I'm wild rather than someone pretending to be him, you'd have to be hopelessly paranoid. Who says I'm paranoid? <laughs> Very stupid, Miles. If anyone's able to shoot without being killed, they're gonna do it, aren't they? It's a theory of mutually assured destruction, Miles. That's what started the nuclear arms race. Okay. Okay. You want to know the truth? I am John Wilde. McCray, you can have the money. As long as you stop her from killing me. Darling, you can have the life insurance. She can stay alive long enough to collect it. Okay? I'll leave you to work it out. Put your gun down, Miles. You'll be able to shoot me. We're on the same side, you buck. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm John Wilde. You're Lewis Fox. You're alive. Very much so. Though I was dead until you brought me back to life. I thought I'd committed the perfect crime till you turned up. How do you know my name? My wife and I were on to you from the very beginning. Why didn't she just kill me then? She had to show you to Peter first. He had to believe you were me. Now, when you die, you'll be doubly convinced that John Wilde is no more. The way I see it, if you die twice, you're pretty well guaranteed to stay dead. Help! He's gonna shoot me! Help! I hate guns. Down, sir. Hello? Emergency, sir. We need an ambulance. Parkway buildings. Car accident. Well, you can't miss it. You know, I'll be identified. After a couple of days underwater, you won't be looking your best, I'm afraid.